will have poetry in my life and adventure and love. Picture Box is a great new movie service that brings you all the thrills of Hollywood with classic films direct to your TV screen. Brace yourselves. One new movie every day of the week and all for just £5 a month. This is just too good to miss. Picture Box is here. Have a sit down. It puts you in control. Watch a movie whenever you want. I'm liberating you. Choose from movies like Along Came Polly, Shakespeare in Love, American Pie The Wedding, Love Actually, Liar Liar, About a Boy, Shaun of the Dead, Peter Pan, Thunderbirds, Apollo 13, Terminator 2, and The Born Supremacy. Houston, we have a problem. Great moments. You're going to remember for the rest of your life. Great movies. High five. It is a new world. Irish boys had war declared on us by Victoria, by New South Wales, by the Crown, and by the London Times even. The reward on our heads is the biggest one yet offered in the world. The country belongs to us and we'll go wherever we like. I'm running low and the devil is on my trail. What? Does. Deep. Throat. No. The Academy Award winning All the President's Men. Available now on Filmflex. When did you last indulge? It's cheeky. It's playful. Irresistible. It's unique, so perfectly formed. Doritos, pleasure yourself. What are you looking forward to? Uh, American Wheel in London, of course. Seeing that on the big screen. The Horde, I think that's going to be amazing. Human Centipede looks like to be the standout piece of just utter unpleasant nastiness. The last couple of films, Heartless and The Descent too. Obviously The Triangle is the opening film, so I'm really, really excited about that. Chris Smith, Severance, brilliant. You enter a place you have never been. I recognise this corridor. Everything you see have seen before. This movie, without a doubt, came from my experience of sitting in screenings with guys like you, um, watching your response to the films I've made and thinking, how can I top that? As a young geek, my, me and my friends got the train up here to watch Black Rain in the cinema, so to be at my favourite film festival, actually in the Empire Leicester Square, is amazing, so thank you for having us. <laughs> American Werewolf Remastered. My favourite horror movie ever made, Scare Me to Death as a Child. It's going to be great, it's going to be great. Never seen it on the big screen. I'd only ever seen it on VHS. I hear John Landis is appearing, so I'm very excited about that. I'd seen John Landis, hearing what he has to say, it's a legend, isn't it? He's the man, yeah, come on. I'm looking forward to his beard. Delighted to be here because I have uh, friends. Guillermo del Toro years ago told me I should come, and I'm very happy to be here. I was concerned that the Blu-ray, because it's so, the clarity of the image, would hurt Rick's makeup. And in fact, it improves it. You see more of it, and therefore you see more detail. It's, it's remarkable. I'm going to be here because I'm going to see a bunch of movies this weekend. Please leave me the fuck alone, okay? <laughs> Trick or treat. I've heard so many good things about that film. This is the one night. Don't forget your costume. All sorts of things. Room free. It's a horror anthology film. Uh, four short stories, five really, uh, that take place on Halloween night and all the characters crisscross into each other's stories. For my money, it's as good a Hollywood movie as you could get. I think these films never work if they take themselves too seriously. And I think Michael has a... I mean, he's very affectionate about the genre, but he, he does have a, a tremendous tongue-in-cheek about it, and I think that's what comes across. The story with the kids it was definitely very, you know, Goonies-inspired if they all died. If people don't like our closing two films and everything we've got uh, 
uh, arranged from this night, th this evening. Don't come back. Heartless is my favourite film of the year. I think Jim Sturr just gives an Oscar-winning performance in it. It's got so many layers, and it really does cross through all these sort of different genres. For me, it's a kind of new genre of horror. Hopefully, you know, I think it's using the language of horror films, but I think visually, it's kind of pushing it into a much richer, kind of hyper-real kind of landscape. Right, that's it. Off. And you start planning Fright Fest 11. Wednesday. I don't even want to think about Fright Fest 11, but I think we're in very, very good shape to get even better films. We always rise to the occasion. It'll be fabulous, as usual. This year, Fright Fest is doing something a little different by putting on an evening of the 100 best movie kills. Hosted by a special mystery guest, the event will showcase some of the greatest director's bloodiest moments, the loudest scream queen's most horrific ends, and the goriest climaxes this side of a Paris Hilton internet download. So, if you want to join in for what promises to be an evening of gruesome glitz, and a celebration of some of cinema's most demented moments. Log in to frightfest.co.uk or the Empire Leicester Square website for booking and ticket information. Oh, and don't forget, you can go to the Frightfest web forum where you can chat with other fans about your favourite movie kills. Right, now I've got some real work to do.